What's going on guys? Today we're going to Bam! Fellas, we are back! Fantasy Draft Experience. Okay, I'm going to explain to you what this league is. I honestly, this, these are the most insane leagues on YouTube. I do an entire fantasy draft in a full season with it all in one video. If it's something that interests you and you want me to do another one of these, these take about 25 hours straight of recording. We got to hit 10,000 likes in the video. Kill like button, tell 10 friends, let's get this thing going. Bam, bam, ladies and gentlemen, look at the screen. I'm the Washington football team. So like I said, essentially how this works, in this entire video, you see me right now, you see me with this blue shirt. I might not have a blue shirt on the entire video, but by the end of this video, if you watch the entire time, you will see a full season. Maybe I'll win a bowl. Maybe I'll look like an idiot and go six in 10. Maybe I'll lose in the divisional. Who knows? You're gonna find out in this video. Like I said, if you like this concept, the best thing you can do is kill a like button. Commenting down below, who am I gonna draft with my first pick? You have a one in about six billion chance. Well, actually, don't. If you think of the first pick, you have about a one in 45 chance of being right. So comment it down below. We're gonna find out the draft, I think, starts in like literally two minutes. So we're about to find out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think they're about to click the button. I don't know. I'm waiting for, uh, I'm waiting for Stu. Your boy Stu runs the leagues, by the it's way. It's the Bills now on the clock. Okay, bam, bam, pick number 25, okay. That's cool, that's not the worst place to be. It's far from the best. Bills get the first pick. Okay, pick number 25 is gonna be interesting. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, bam, bam, fellas. Okay, pick number 25, I'm gonna start talking about it now just so I can give you guys the entire rundown of what's going on. Uh, players that I would consider, dead, no. The quarterback situation, the only one worth even looking at is Trey Lance, less dance. Um, I would consider it if he's there. If we're talking quarterbacks and value, he's probably the most valuable player left at this point. He's six foot four, 87, and he actually turns into a superstar. And devs are getting unlocked immediately. If he's still there, I ain't gotta tell you. The reason why I I, I wanna say if I play the Game of Thrones, you win. Oh, I wanna say if I wait, I can still get Jonathan Taylor, but I can't get like that, that's how I'm trying to play this. If I wait, I know for a fact I can still get, I know I can still get Jonathan Taylor. But I also, like, I don't know. I also don't know who, Cle Cleveland might take Trey Lance here. There's a chance that Cleveland takes Trey Lance, in which case I have a couple choices. I can go Jalen, Jair Alexander. Like, I, I, have, I have a couple options. Potentially, I would say Alexander might be the most optimal, but you got to score points. Oh, this is a ah, This is T Hammer's pick too. Oh my gosh. I feel like he's gonna take Trey Lance. He seems torn. I feel like he's deciding either Trey Lance. Who did he take? He took that Thornton guy. Trey Lance becomes a superstar, guys. He, he's he's a superstar. Um his hidden dev has been superstar all year. I'm gonna go Trey Lance, let's dance. Oh, that's a tough pick. Oh, let's go, Trey! We got our QB. That's tough! That's tough to do. He's a superstar dev, hidden superstar. Uh, he'll be unlocked because it's an express league. He's 87 speed, 90 acceleration. He's a good quarterback. That's the thing, he's a good quarterback. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, one pick away. As long as Equidorius does not take him, we are about to, our plan is gonna work and we are about to get Jonathan Taylor in the second round. As long as he doesn't take him, there's no one that I think that will be more valuable long-term to us than Jonathan Taylor at this spot. I don't think Equidorius is a huge passer. I know for a fact I can run the freaking okay, rock with this go. dude. I've been Washington wanting him all year. He just took Denzel. He took Denzel. Right. Bam, bam Let's go, fellas! Jonathan Taylor goes to Washington. 94 speed, 92 acceleration. I knew that one. I See, sometimes you play the game in this and, 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 you, and you, you take risks. You take some risks where like, you're, you're thinking like, hey, can I get a quarterback and Jonathan Taylor? I got a great quarterback who's a superstar. I'm gonna show you guys this right now, actually. Okay, so you guys can see, Trey Lance is one of the only, and if you go start a franchise on your own, if you think this is, go start a franchise, he's one of the only hidden dev superstars. That's why I took him, 87 speed, 90 excel, he can move around. Trey Lance, let's dance, and Jonathan Taylor. Great first two picks. That's an offense that we can work around. Honestly, Jonathan Taylor is gonna get the ball a stupid amount. Like I just, I, I, I honestly, have been waiting for this. I feel like I can run for like 3,000 yards with this dude um, with evasive and like, I'll probably have to put on running back apprentice to start here. But like, he's got a crazy, his elusive back's 92, meaning he's only three upgrades from the human Jaguars joystick where he clock. will literally be unbelievable. Trey Lance, as far as ability to have inside dead, dead eye and tight out. 
Um, I can give him jukebox, spin cycle, closer. But yeah, those would be his kind of abilities to start. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very happy with my first two picks. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, bum bam, fellas, we're back. Okay. Wah, this is a situation. This is a situation. Um, okay, the I'm trying to figure out who the best available is here. T Hammer's up. I honestly, this is this is when it's Trayvon Walker. He's an X Factor. 86 speed, X Factor, defensive player. I don't know if that's the pick. I don't know. I don't know for sure. It's not not the pick. Like, dude's an X Factor. He's gonna become just an absolute. There's no superstar corners available right now. Dante Jackson and Caleb Farley are there though. I, I'm I'm considering it, dude. I really, really, really am. I feel like he's gonna go soon. I feel like he's gonna go soon. I just don't know. I do feel like maybe. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I'm panicking, dude. I'm folding like a cheap tent. I'm folding like a cheap tent. I gotta go. I gotta go fast corner. I, I like Farley. I like it's Farley six foot two. Oh, let's go. Oh my gosh. I gotta go Farley there. Dang, I panicked a little bit. I feel like the best player at this spot is the number one overall pick. Superstar Trayvon Walker out of Georgia. I could get Aiden Hutchinson as well. Little bit higher of an overall, a little bit lower speed. That guy's a stud. I hope he's there in a bit. Daxton Hill is what, 93 speed, 92 acceleration? He'd be a decent user. I'm gonna take the number one overall pick. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I don't, I don't know. I got a gut feeling about him. He's the only X Factor rookie. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take Trayvon Walker. Let's go, man! I think he's gonna be a difference maker. I really do. I, when you're an X Factor rookie, that's something. There's something to that. Yes, his stuff is not crazy right now, but it, it's gonna get better. We are back. Pick round five. Pick number twenty. I promise you guys. I go, I'm hoping Keenan Allen is still here. I really just want him to be Adam. Oh. Are you kidding me right now? They both went. Yeah, I, I got I gotta take the savage. Darnell, baby! Oh, let's go, Darnell Savage. Okay, these are new players. You haven't seen them a lot on the team. I feel like JJ watched the pick. This is random, dude. Most random draft 2022, now but we turn <clears throat> to me, JJ watched the pick. I don't know. I I if if I take JJ, I could potentially create D-line U and have Trayvon Walker and JJ Watt. That's kind of the only thing that really made me kind of make that decision. It's only a one season thing. Tough to know. I just don't believe he is there next round. I am going to cross my little fingers. Cross. I'm crossing them. That Asante Samuel Jr. is there for the next pick. I am going to cross my fingers. Do I, do I play the Game of Thrones? In the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. I think I need, I think I need Paris Campbell here. My good friend, Paris Campbell. Okay. Bam! Let's go, Paris. Break out Paris, the swaggiest player in the league, nicest guy ever. I cannot wait to have him on this team. 94 speed, 93 acceleration. I'm happy with that pick. He's six feet tall, super good after the catch. I've gone him to 99 before, um, and Tony Pollard goes right there. Easiest pick of the draft for me. Steal. Where I got him, it is, well, it's not according to the game, but where I got him, to me, that is a steal. Asante Samuel Jr., hidden dev, 92 speed, 93 acceleration. I'm almost certain he's smart enough to realize, but Perry Nickerson just showed up, which is super, super, super lucky, and he took Marcus Davenport. We caught a break, fellas. We caught our first break of the draft. Perry Nickerson showed that that's huge. That's literally huge. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got lucky again with this situation. Tony Brown just showed out. Like I said, if we're building a defense, he's fast. 94 speed, 92 acceleration. Tony Brown just, right. just showed up. Okay. Literally just showed up. Whoa, it's time to get our next receiver. It's time to get our next receiver. Michael, oh my gosh, I almost got Robert Woods. Michael Pittman Jr. This is an easy, another super easy pick for us. I honestly, I would have picked him right. way earlier. I love him. He's a beast. He's tall. He's a physical receiver. I'm literally... Pretty much forming uh, what is going to look like the Indianapolis Colts over here. We're doing 14 rounds total with my final pick of the draft. Our slot receiver. I've always wanted to use him in a CFM. Our secret weapon, Hunter Renfro. Nobody wants him. Nobody wants him because he's 86 speed and because he's only 5'10". It's a mad dash. Free agency's open. So it's literally a mad dash. And we're in. It's, that had to have just happened. You just go to free agents and you go speed, and then you go and you pick up. Oh my gosh. I got, I got, I got Marquis Goodwin. I'm, 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 I'm cool with that. I'm, 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 
Honestly, Marquise Goodwin may be the most underrated person that I bring in here. Jamarian Davis, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. He said, it's, it's, it's a mad dash, dude. Only the strong survive in these situations. It's tough toenails for everybody else. That's just, that's just the way she goes, though. I can't believe I got good 96 speed there. That was clutch. That was, that's called, that, that's like your, that's your TD Barrett clutch moment of the season right there. Is us getting good with, I might even play him. Honestly, he was one of my first, one of the first, like, uh, I'm just signing a bunch of speed guys right now. So that way I, I have no one slow on my field whatsoever. Wow, I can't believe I got Goodwin right there. Oh my gosh. I cannot freaking believe that. Okay, clutch free agency for us. Our free agency just made this team that much better. We just got 96 speed. Marquise Goodwin uh, right there. They don't even have his face in the game anymore, which is shocking to me how they don't. 5'9", 96 speed, 96 acceleration. I've had him in franchises before. I honestly think it's probably going to be Pittman, Paris, and good one. I don't know if Renfro doesn't play as much with the 90s. And let's see. Now we gotta see who the CPU drafted us. Okay, so CPU backup running backs. McKinnon, I'm happy with. Tight end, Gerald Everett. I like, I'm cool with that. Ocon, we, we did pretty good on the offensive line side of things. George Fant, JJ Watt, Montez Sweat. Samson Abukum, I like. Matthew Ioannidis, that's so tough. That's so tough. I would have taken him. Trayvon Walker, Barnes there, Corey Littleton. Um, DBs, we are just like, you can't tell me we're not literally on fire here with DBs. Like, I, I, got, I got way too many DBs right now, so I'm going to start getting rid of them. But honestly, as sad as this sounds and as awful as this is, sometimes you just sign a bunch just so other people can't. It's the Game of Thrones, man. You win or you die. So the more DBs I can have on here that are fast, the less likely a team that I'm playing is going to have fast DBs. Tough toenails, world. Hey, ladies and gentlemen! Oh, bam, fellas! We go, we got upgrades, we got to say, okay, our season goal, obviously, goes out saying season goal is boom. I, I, I want to make it to the Super Bowl. That's easy enough. Season goal, I, I got no, that, that, that's exactly what we're going to do. Opening day, keys to video. We had three press conferences, and then we're going to have a bunch of upgrades. Opening day, we're going to fresh start for you. What's the key to victory? Dominating offense. I feel like, I feel like this season, guys, it's going to be stifling defense, disrupting the pass, getting Trayvon Walker and those guys in. Getting pressure on the defense. I feel like all those things are going to be super, super crucial in us getting lots of wins. Press conference, rookie QB1. Let's set the expectation. We got, a, we got Trey Lance, let's dance. Number five, let's go, man. Great performance. I'm expecting him to just come out and throw for 300 yards. Like I said, if I can do that consistently, we're going to be successful. Media day, this league's a little different too. It's um, Coach Chubb, now to a cutter like Patrick Mahomes is brought him, but where does the game plan stand for a player like him? Oh my gosh, this is Patrick Mahomes. I think you gotta contain his scram scrambling. I'm gonna have Montez Sweat try and get out there and kind of like just cause him some issues as it stands. Let's do our weekly strategy, let's do our upgrades, and then let's do our depth chart. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to just hit the ground running with this team. <laughs> XP for these, um, just like it was last time, is turned up a little bit because they're one season, it's to make it so that people actually take young players. Um, so XP is a little bit higher than usual, so you may see more upgrades than like a normal franchise, but it's not going to be by a lot of Trayvon Walker. Oh my gosh! Holy shit! Okay, the, Caleb Farley gets one, which is freaking amazing. He's going to get one to his slot ability. Uh, cross my fingers for a speed upgrade with Caleb Farley. Everyone hashtag cross your fingers. Preseason was good to this team. We got a ton of upgrades. Um, Paris Campbell is another one. I need him to lead the league. I need him to get superstar. We currently don't have a superstar. I'm banking on him getting it. So that way we can like eventually like, like the rest is history. If I can somehow find a way to get superstar with him, it's gonna be absolutely phenomenal. Perry Nickerson gets an upgrade to his man coverage. That's good to see. All these guys, I'm doing their slot upgrades because if I can get him plus one, like Tony Brown plus one speed, he's 95 speed. He's, he's insane. You know, like it's just, it's, it's as simple as that. Um, Trayvon Walker, two upgrades. Now, the most important, I'm gonna go speed rusher for him. The goal is with Trayvon Walker is to get him to be a, um, it's pretty much to get him elite. Get him to that 85 overall. I want him to have a plus one acceleration, good stuff, that's good to see. He's gotta be noticeable. Say, I saw it, and all these players are getting a ton of XP because it was the preseason and they all played a ton. Sante Samuel Jr. is gonna get a couple upgrades, which is freaking awesome to see. 
Awareness, man, coverage, yada, yada, yada. Okay, Trey Lance gets two. Let's go, Trey Lance. Okay, he's gonna get strong arm for almost everything. Trey Lance is gonna get strong arm. Plus one throw, power. He's already out better. Like, he would have been selected way earlier if people knew that. Um, what did that get him to? 92 throw power. Now, now he has elite. 91's good, 92 is elite. AJ Moore gets an upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade his hybrid. Um, this is the most upgrades you will ever see. This is an overwhelming stupidly insane amount of upgrades, but it is what it is. Michael Pittman Jr. gets an upgrade through preseason. Uh, but honestly, I think it's realistic because preseason, I know when you turn XP up, preseason you get insane upgrades, but it's like they just played the preseason. Like they're getting ready for the season. These young guys, they gotta be going up. Miami, we going up. Darnell Savage gets an upgrade. Let's go. Um, he's got plus. Let's go, Darnell. 94 speed for Darnell freaking Savage. Oh my gosh, that's huge for him. Um, Jonathan Taylor gets two upgrades. If I go double elusive, we're close to human joystick. He already was super, super close when I drafted him. Plus one acceleration. Oh my gosh. The only issue with him is he only has six more elusive. So speed chances only go up so high. But we're now at 94 overall with him with 94 speed, 93 acceleration. That's the team right there. If you're wondering who the team is, you can literally just go and ask him. If, yeah, if you're ever like, oh, whose team is this? Go and ask Jonathan Taylor. He'll, he'll answer you, he'll direct you right to himself because he is this team. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, at the moment, we're playing up against the Chargers. Now, I know for a fact the Chargers have some really, really good talent there. Uh, QB wise, QB1 goes without saying. Jonathan Taylor, I'm gonna go Justice Hill as my second. Uh, yeah, he's a little younger, so I like him a bit more. Um, receiver, we actually lucked out. And like, I'm, I'm gonna be going Paris Campbell, Marquis Goodwin, and Michael Pittman. Hunter Renfro will play, but like, you guys play Madden. You know how valuable 96 speed is. Speed kills, Marquis Goodwin's an animal. Welcome to the team. I've used him in prior Madden. Left tackle, this guy, this Tev Tevin Jenkins, is actually um, hidden dev. He's a beast, I'm gonna start him there. Uh, and then I can move O'Connell to somewhere else if need be. Um, Solomon is there, George Fant's a pretty good tackle. This is where it's tough because I also really, really want, um, I'm gonna put Russell at guard because I, I, I feel really, really strongly about that. Left end, we got JJ Watt, Montez Sweat. I love it, Matthew Ines. This defense is insane. Trayvon Walker at left outside. Right outside, out of linebacker, we got Littleton as of right now. Cornerbacks, this is quarterback C City. We got Perry Nickerson, Farley, and Asante Samuel Jr. Jr. is kind of playing the inside. Those guys are gonna be playing the outside, which is awesome. Darnell Savage is our user. I gotta put him here because I can maybe get a breakout with him. I've learned from subscribers that you get better breakouts by doing that. Thank you uh, to whoever sent me that. You are the best. So thank you so much. Sub linebackers. We're going to start off with Darnell Savage. He's going to be our number one. Second guy is going to be AJ Moneyman Moore. Third guy is going to be Brandon Wilson. These guys, I've got a ton of speed here, um, which is now making me question why I put Brandon Wilson there. This actually should be more like uh, Davis. That, that should be Davis. He's a little, he's a little shorter. That, that's tough. Um, now let's go to our rush lineman, rush left end, Montez Sweat goes out saying, and Trayvon Walker, and then JJ Watt in the middle, which I think is disgustingly good. Slot cornerback, easy, easy, easy decision. Asante Samuel Jr. is really, really good there. Perry Nickerson on the outside. Call 1-800, it's showtime. Playing the Chargers, week number one. Let's go. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Bang, bang, it's your Montez! It is! I gotta scream at him here, fellas. I gotta scream. If he blocks that tight end, he blocks his tight end. But I, I, I gotta scream. Oh my gosh. Begged. Begged. Let's go, Perry Dickerson! Good pick, Perry. Defense, man. This team's this team's gonna be remembered in a long for the defense. It's gonna be a CFM that you guys remember for this defense and the speed we got on offense. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Taylor. The Jonathan X Taylor experience is here. Buckle up, let's dance. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so happy to have Trey Lance in here. Yeah, see, first, first play didn't work for Jonathan. Let's go, Jonathan. Hopefully, as long as, as, long as I don't get any garbage on that side again. Look at Taylor, bro, look at Jonathan Taylor. On first down, Lance. Trey Lance, Justice Hill. Justice, Justice, Justice. I like Trey Lance a lot so far. Second and 
Banged. You know who almost got to him? Do you see who almost got to him? Wilson. Oh, I got to jump that, Wilson. I, I need to time out. What a cool guy. What a cool guy. Can't believe that throw I made there. That was so bad. Okay. I got 50 seconds to get seven, and then we get ball at half. So we have a chance to still go up seven. Paris Campbell. Paris Campbell. Paris Campbell. Go. Here's Lance to throw it. Rolling to his right. There it is. There it is. Let's go. There we go. Oh, I, yo, my controller just died. My controller just died. And it's Asante Samuel Jr. A controller die pick. A controller dies pick. Controller was dead. It was dead. I had nothing. I couldn't even. I'm telling you though. What did I say about Asante Samuel Jr.? I said trust him. I said trust him. Okay. Offense, we gotta go score. We gotta go score. Hunter Renfro. Hunter Renfro. Nice catch, Hunter. Okay. Go, Jonathan. Go, Jonathan. In and out. Boom. Boom. Jonathan Taylor. Let's go. Is he screaming at me here? Yeah, Trey Lance, let's dance. Trey Lance, let's dance. Let's dance, Trey Lance. Triple out, triple out, triple out, triple out. Uh, called the play. Called, I knew it. I knew what play it was. I, it had nothing to do with my... Knew exactly what play it was. Just couldn't do anything about it. That's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. He literally just smacked it out of thin air. And Davis. Oh my gosh. Okay. Good job, Farley. He's, he's taking a lot of time here. Okay. I'm telling you, that guy is just a natural born stud in this game. That slot. And I got him super late. Good job, Marquise. Okay, let's try and run the ball here. Okay, so with this, I activated Jonathan Taylor, meaning he gets. Um, Meaning he's unstoppable, essentially. Essentially, meaning he is freaking unstoppable. Go, go trips tight and just hope that he can't stop Taylor here. ID before, if you ID before, it doesn't make it obvious, and then just you just cross our fingers that Jonathan Taylor's the GOAT. Yeah, he is the GOAT, but... Um, I don't agree with what the computer's saying right now. I'm, I'm, I, I feel like I gotta take three here no matter what. Yeah, you, t you take three. You go up, you have two scores in this situation. And his kick is... That one looks like he'll throw here. He'll buy some time right. Yo, I got people making plays for me. I got... They want to win for Trey Lance. Let's dance. They want to win for Mr. Trey Lance. Oh my goodness, because there's no other reason that you catch that ball. I've had two super lucky catches this game. And there's no other reason for it other than they just, they want to win for us, man. Ah, uh, he stepped out. But, but, he, but he's disgusting still. GG's, bro. Week number one dub. All, all I care about is it's, it's, it's no matter what, it's, it's a week number one win. Um, he's going to decline it. Great game. Notable standouts. Asante Samuel Jr. Walker was a notable standout. He looked amazing. Um, two touchdowns for Trey Lance. 6.4 for Jonathan Taylor. We had Marquise Goodwin had a few. Paris Campbell had one for 54. Ladies up! Bum bam! Week two breakout! Bum bum breakout! It's gotta be Junior. It's gotta be Junior. Perry freaking Nickerson! 200 yards passing in an express league is very easy. That, that'll get him to star dev, which would be we got a weekly award. Who, who would this be? Who would it be?
Brandon Wilson. Shout out to shout out to six tackle Brandon Wilson. Six tackles for Mr. Brandon Wilson. That is unbelievable. Perry Nickerson breakout. Like just imagine. Like I don't I don't believe Perry Nickerson is that old. So I'm just thinking about the potential of him. Um getting like to super it would just be terrifying like i said i i really really feel like our defense is one of the better defenses that we've drafted uh, it freezes every single time shoot i'll be right back okay ladies and gentlemen, we're back upgrade players should have some decent with jordan trey lance let's go oh my gosh so he's gonna he's gonna upgrade like a bad weed like a bad another throw power oh my gosh two freaking Throw powers already for the dude. Two throw powers. Are you kidding me? We get a slot upgrade for Perry Nickerson. Um, yeah, this is actually crazy. Okay, I actually Trayvon Walker has two. Okay, we got, I, I gotta tone down the upgrades. I I, I we, we gotta tone it down. I gotta talk. To, we went 150. I think we gotta tone it down. I think we used to maybe do 125, but I, I'm cool with it. As of right now, we're gonna tone it down a little bit, but it's it's still a lot of fun. Trayvon gets two. Overall boost, agility, finesse moves, pursuit, all those things. Jalen Smith, Tony Brown's got an upgrade. Um, oh my gosh, Caleb Farley has one. Yeah, I got. It. This is this is insane. This is this is a complete, absolute mistake of just how many upgrades we're getting. But it is going to be fixed. So enjoy it while it lasts. It's going to be about halfway in between normal and this. This is way too much. This this. Junior just got speed. Let's go. This is way too, way 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 too much. Uh, Montez Sweat gets an upgrade. He goes plus one. And by, at this rate, everyone's going to be 99 at the end of the season. Every, every single person on the team uh, will be 99. Darnell Savage gets an upgrade, which is freaking awesome. I'm going to upgrade his hybrid. Uh, he's such a freaking good safety, man. He's, he's unbelievable. Um, really enjoyed using him that game. Other than that, Hunter Renfro. We can cross our fingers for potentially a speed upgrade with Hunter. I'm not banking on it, but I think there's a chance that it could happen. Plus one catch in traffic. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as far as upgrade, I need Tony Brown. Any, any corner, you're gonna see me do this every single time. I enjoy watching it, I don't know, it's fun. It's kinda cool to see who we get. Uh, awareness and plus three man coverage for him. Um, that is about all she wrote. Brandon Wilson got an upgrade as well. Holy snack pack. He's gonna go up to a 63 overall. Uh, his hybrid awareness tackle, some coverage, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, week number two, this is a divisional matchup against the 0-1 Giants. We don't have time to look through whole rosters here, but Looks like Jalen or Darren Waller was his favorite receiver in the first game. Game two, let's go. Throwing on second and eight. Oh, Waller, bro. Oh my gosh, Perry Nickerson. This is caught inside the 15. Jones Jr. And now they'll throw with Lance. There we go. Go, Jonathan. Good. Look at Go, Taylor. Oh my goodness. Yep, that's wide open. I'll take it all day. Boom. First down. Is that Paris Campbell? Paris Campbell! Laser against cover two. Stayed in the pocket. Stepped up. Absolute dot. Good. Yo, I love Trey Lance. I love Trey Lance. Okay, seven up. Yeah, that's you, Perry Nickerson. Hey, that's a pass breakup. No, sir. They snap it to Fields. Eluding the pressure. I don't I Fields, I don't know where you're going, man. I don't know. Running left, Taylor. There it is. There it is. Lee. That's a brutal throw. Yeah, someone take this dude's controller. Someone take this dude's controller. He shouldn't, it's not safe. It's not safe with him with the controller. Someone take it. Someone, someone take my dude's controller, man. Ba-bam, let's go. Good job, Darnell. What I t hey, defense, bro. Defense is going to be this season. 
This is a defensive team. It's 100% defensive team. Wonder what this is. He'll fire deep downfield from Lamb. And that's caught inside the 30. Field throwing again. Savage. That is caught by Lamb. A final shot before the break. Fields. And that is caught. Hicker. Now I don't think that they overly harped on it, but I think they told him, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting. You gotta take care of the ball. Otherwise, Don't talk to me, bro. Don't talk to me. Trey Lance! On second and 11 now. Yeah, you're good, Trey. You're good, Trey. You're good, Trey. Let's go! Trey Lance. Good play. You gotta use it that route, man. Oh, that's... Look at him. Who got it? Brown. Good stuff. Hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early? From look at Trey Lance, dude. Just look at him. Trey Lance is making plays. From the gun, it's Lance. Paris Campbell. Yo, Hunter Renfro? Hunter Renfro! Get your touchdown, Hunter. Get your touchdown. Uh, he's screaming at us. Just stay in that pocket. Oh, yeah, that's a laser. That's, that's GG's. Yeah, you can quit now if you want, Micah. You can quit now if you want. Game day goal. Let's go, Trey Lance. Paris Campbell's going crazy. Two weeks in, ladies and gentlemen. We're 2-0. and Loving this team. I might not feel that way the entire time, but I'm loving this team I drafted. Did I get enough? Let's go, Perry Nickerson. He gets a death and then 5,000 XP for Perry Nickerson. That's huge for him. Uh, Perry Nickerson goes up to star, which is great. Consider just with how fast of a player he is, like, that's huge. He's, on, he's only 26 years old. So he's now a star dev. He's now a decent corner. That's an amazing uh, breakout game. Okay, we got the Bills next week. We'll see you guys next Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It is top of the morning. Oh, Express, there's nothing better than Express League morning. Okay, it's time to do all right. We're going to do this. 2-0, and great start to the year. Honestly, I have no complaints about anyone at this point. I think this is one of my better drafts that I have had, as shocking as that may be. I need a big game with Trey Lance at some point to try and maybe spark a breakout with him. As far as upgrades, like I said, we're going up against the 0-2 Buffalo Bills. Caleb Farley, let's go, Caleb. Um, he's someone who's one speed upgrade away from being like, one of the best corners in the entire game. Uh, the, the dude, the dude's crazy. I'm, I'm happy with where I took him in the draft. I don't think he would have been there for much longer. Um, plus two man coverage. Perry Nickerson's star dev now, which is amazing. And Jonathan Taylor, let's go. This is what I've been waiting for. So now Jonathan Taylor with that upgrade, um, plus one acceleration, plus two change of direction. Um, Jonathan Taylor gets human joystick, which is the best ability in the entire game. Um, yeah, it's literally an insane ability. I, there's, there's, there's no other words to describe it other than just insane. I don't really use... I might do spin cycle. I don't really use his routes very much. Like, that's not something that I'm, like, super, super, super concerned with. Everyone else here, I'm cool with just um, manually upgrading. Going up against the 0-2 Bills. Let's dance. Oh, gosh, he's got Lamar. I, I did not realize this, this was the number one overall pick team. This is gonna be a bit of a, uh, a challenge. Good defense, oh gosh. Yeah, this is gonna be a challenge. Lamar Jackson is no joke in this game. Easily the best, most dominant player that there is. From the gun, it's Jackson. Bagged, bagged. Let's go, good play, 29. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Works for me. Hey, hope hope that seven yards on the stat sheet uh, was worth giving me the ball back. Good stuff. Okay. There it is. Jonathan Taylor. Good stuff. Taylor. First two plays to him. Throwing his lance on third down. Hunter. Hunter Renfro. Let's go. That is why he's in that position. To throw its lance. But it's, it's honestly just a huge, like, zero percenter. Let's 
it's all right. Okay, we'll take three. Caleb. Another try after the first down sack. Lance. Deep ball. There we go. Marquise. Go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now a play fake. Lance. Deep ball for good. There we go. Let's go. Good win. There we go. Okay, defense. Let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. Some people are just predictable, dude. You don't have to be a genius to know this guy's gonna onside kick to start the half. Like this just, sometimes in life the shoe just fits. This guy as a player, he just seemed like the type to to that. Okay, so this situation, uh, I gotta get Jonathan Taylor's due to get a big run. His two defensive ends have given me lots of issues, um, like a lot of issues so far. But we should go, 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 Jonathan. There it is. There. It, oh my gosh, that's gotta be a touchdown. Yeah, you're in there, Trey. Let's go! Trey Lance! Let's dance! Good job, Trey Lance. From the 30 on second down, Jackson. Good read. Good read, bro. Ba bam Defense! From the shotgun. Hey, let's go! J. J. Watt! When you go on the road, as you mentioned, being an underdog, winning the turnover battle is a This is intercepted. Good job, Perry. Perry Nickerson's having like a elite season. Like they knew they had to press it a little bit, and they planned accordingly. And what a benefit for them. Paris Campbell, let's go. Man, he's having a season. Okay, GG's, fellas, 3-0. Paris Campbell, big time catch. Like I said, this is the earliest morning game. I actually, I've not even completely erased it. My brain is not completely on. We got the Atlanta next week. Um, as far as that game, I'm super, super, super happy with the result. We got Atlanta next week, who I don't know a ton about. I guess we'll know about in a second. Atlanta is one and two, so. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, press conference. I, I don't know if this is the... Press conference, as in, like, I'm getting a QB out coach. A team has been playing really well. How much did Praise Trey Lance. Oh, shit. I thought I was about to get a Trey Lance break. I, would, I wouldn't have felt super right about a Trey Lance break, because I don't know if I really deserve it at this point. Uh, but in my head, as soon as I saw that kind of animation, I was like, yo, I'm about to get a Trey Lance breakout. Um, going up against Lance, I've played this guy, in, uh, this guy in other leagues. I don't think he's bad. It doesn't look like... I'm going to kind of look at his team really, really, really quick. It doesn't seem like his team is kind of the best, which in fantasy draft, it's if you don't draft a good offense, you can really show up Paris Campbell. He deserves it, man. No one deserves it more than this guy. Like, he's played out of his mind every game. He's made contested catches. He's made people miss after the catch. He's been amazing. Trey Lance, I'm gonna continue to upgrade strong arm. He's still a 74 overall, uh, but strong arm is the most important throw accuracy, and he's already gotten two. He's already gotten legitimate two. Um, this, Throw power upgrades in the span of like four weeks, which is insane. Darnell Savage plus one man coverage. Um, Davis and Wilson, like I said, when you have like the fast corners that aren't like super high, it's, it's super smart to like you gotta you gotta upgrade them like every single time and choose slot because every once in a while you'll randomly get and for um for safeties always go hybrid. That's kind of my general rule: plus one awareness, plus one man coverage. Chris Barnes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's see week numero. Four. His team, uh, his top player is Chris Jones. His offense is really not good at the moment. I don't think he has a ton of great receivers is kind of what it looks like. I don't know. I could be very wrong. Kenny Pickett's his QB. Garrett Wilson, Jamison Williams. He went really, really young. Took, he stole all the rookies from us. Um, defensively, his corners aren't great. Yeah, he's, he's not super well balanced. Uh, but yeah, I think we can get stops. Let's go. Yeah, this defense that he's in, I... Feel like I can run with Jonathan. Let's go, go, Jonathan! 
Oh my! He, okay. So I gotta figure out how to use them because the issue right now with Jonathan Taylor is that I'm just I'm making too many moves. Like two I, I just need to just like stiff arm and maybe make a few less moves. Like two rushes, 44 yards. You can see already how electric this guy is. I'm gonna look for Paris Campbell here. I need him to like everyone to move down, and then I'm gonna hit Paris Campbell right over the middle. Laser. Let's go, Paris! Wow, Paris Campbell! Let's go! He is boxed. They're gonna try and throw. Yeah, you gotta blitz. You gotta blitz. I can't. I gotta scream here. I'm, I'm, I've made I've made this mistake too many times. Yeah, we're blitzing them. We're blitzing you all day, bro. All day. Yep, that's easy. That's way too easy. Go! Jonathan! Oh, Jonathan. He's blitzing us. Yeah, as soon as as soon as you blitz, you better you better at least this dude. And you wanna tell oh my voice crack. Oh, you want to tell me he's not worth the number, like the pick that I selected? You're lying. I am. Uh, I'm just gonna blitz the league here and play sticks. That's a. That, that's Madden for you, bro. That's Madden for you. I don't know. Think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. Look at Trey Lance, bro. Look at Trey Lance. Look at Trey Lance. Laser. Yeah, you're gone, Jonathan. You're gone, Jonathan Taylor. Okay, defense. Let's get a stop. Off play action. Pick it. Thank. Oh my gosh, Montez! Rewind the tape, please. Nick, show what he just did. Oh my goodness, that was mean. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I, that was bad defense. And how did that even? How am I allowing that? Looking to throw. Pick it. Going right side here, and that's complete. And all the way down. Trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that. And they put Looking to throw on second down. Pick it. There it is. Let's go. Pick it! It's pick it! Pick it! That was a duck. That was a duck. Good job, Junior. Junior gets his third interception of the year. In my mind, his third interception of the year. And that's his second for six. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something Hunter, 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 Hunter! Let's go. Good throw. Oh my gosh. Can't catch a break here, dude. Oh my god, that sucks. Looking to throw. Pick it. Okay. Gotta just run the clock out. Figure something out. Go, Taylor. Yeah, you're gone, Jonathan. Oh my, that, hey, that, that's why he's on the team. Yeah, he's faster than you are, bro. He's faster. He's just a little bit faster than you are. Sit down, Jonathan. GG's, fellas. Especially that second pick and just like him getting crazy, crazy, crazy. Like on certain situations, I'm just like, I was super frustrated. Jonathan Taylor, seven for 137. The dude's insane. In those situations like that, where it was like a clutch, I like, I have to get something done. Um, that's exactly what he did. That gets us the W here. QB1 check-in. We're not going to have anything special here. I, I know that. Because um, I, I needed to get like 300 yards and a ridiculous amount of stuff. But he actually does get plus five medium because we did end up winning the game. Um, we got the Saints next week. Let's see. We've had a pretty easy schedule so far. But it's important even when your schedule is a little bit easier. You got to win every game. And the Saints are 0-3. So... We might just be 5-0, and oh, fellas. We might just, we've got an easy schedule, but that, that can change really quick. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, bam, bam, fellas. 0-4. I'm shocked. This is literally Equidorious. I'm like, 
completely and totally shocked. Sorry, Heidi's barking. Like I said, these these, these go over the span of like, I, like a ridiculous amount of uh, hours. So uh, so uh, there's gonna be a lot of like you guys gonna get to see my life. You get to see my life, man. A typical day. I think he, I'm guessing he's having issues with his quarterback. Uh, I always struggle with Equidorius. Um, he's definitely someone who gives me some issues. Um, so I'm not expecting this to be an easy game whatsoever. We're four and zero. Time to look at some other. Caleb Farley. Let's go and Trayvon Walker. Caleb Farley's been good. I'm gonna switch Caleb Farley's side. I didn't even play on the left side. More people run their, their routes kind of left to right than the opposite. So I gotta make sure I put him there. Uh, Asante Samuel Jr. gets a plus one excel. He deserves it, man. Trayvon Walker, already a superstar X Factor 80 overall. He's been noticeable. I, I, he doesn't have a ton of sacks is the only frustrating thing with him. Like, I don't even know if he has any. He has half a sack, but like, watch the games. Literally go watch the games and Trey Lance, let's dance. He gets one, plus one strong. If you watch the games, you will see exactly what I'm talking about with him. He's been really, 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 really elite. Montez Sweat gets an upgrade. Um, shocked. And like at this point, I'm just shocked that he hasn't got a breakout yet. Um, I've gotten breakouts with him before. And once he gets like edge threat and stuff, like he's got five sacks in four weeks. Montez Sweat's got the most sacks in the entire league. Dude is dominant right now. Okay, the Saints, let's look at their best weapons just here. Um, Denzel Ward doesn't have a great quarterback. Offensive rank 10, defensive rank is not very good. Okay, we're 4-0, ladies and gentlemen. Let's dance. Okay, if this is the offense he plans on running, I should, I think I have a decent bag for it. Um, I'm just gonna send a lot of pressure because he can't really block it that well. That's boxed. Farley! Bruh, oh my gosh. Okay, Demario Davis is kind of his guy here. I wonder if I can run this. That, go! Come on, Taylor. Why am I, I'm not used to his, he's so good at getting to the second level. I'm just, I haven't been really finishing runs with him if I'm being real with you guys. Oh my gosh. There we go, Marquise. Good dot. That, that, that's, I don't even want to call that. That's a laser. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage. And they're easy Is that them or us? That's us, right? And that'll be yeah. Shoot, that all out blitz. Ugh, it's tough. The six one's definitely a, a tricky. I might have to run a little bit of spread against him if, he, if he's going to run that. McDonald sets to throw. That is caught by pickup. McDonald. He's got this one completed to Mims. And he's going to get this depth from the gun. It's McDonald. Yeah, thank you. Wilson! Mr. Wilson! Off of play action. Here's Lance. That's complete to a speedy wide up. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Again, it's Lance. As shocking as that is, I do feel like a field goal is the best decision here. With, yep. Who we got? See that way, I, I get points. Out of the gun, McDonald. Five, four, three seconds. A final shot before break. Yeah, no, just play the deep ball. Just play the deep ball at this point. It out toward the corner of the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown. we will start the second half with an onside kick. And this is going to be covered up by Washington. We'll take it. Quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Now we'll throw here to his running back. It's all right. Down. Here's Lance to throw it. Yeah, this pass for left hash. It's a 42. Nor to win. I need a three anyways. This guy's boxing me, dude. He's just sending this rapid blitz every freaking play, and I'm giving me a lot of issues. I can't really run against it either at the moment, so. Throwing is McDonald. Farley, let's go! Go home, Caleb. We can't score. Good job, Caleb. That's why you take your three, fellas. That's why you take your threes. Hashtag, that's why you take your threes. Bang! Bang! Who else? Montez 
Sweat. Hey, let's go. I'm screaming at you, man. Get no play actions, please. No play actions. Let's go. Here's Lance. And this pass broken. I think at this point I go for this. Can't score on them, so we take three, and I guess we cross our fingers that we can get a stop. I don't know. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. He's got a man complete. They'll run with Montgomery. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. He's gonna he's gonna just try and not score, so I think I gotta just cross my fingers for a little box in here. Let's go! Bye bye! GG's, fellas! Must have felt very, very, very confident that he was going to be successful. Yeah, game. And you can go all, you can go home too, Taylor. You can go home too, Taylor. GG's, my friends. GG's. Undefeated still, ladies and gentlemen. Undefeated still. That was a game. That was, I could not score. That was one of those games. It was a defensive. He drafted defense. Uh, his defense was super, super, super tough. Uh, we did a great job against his offense. And then here, on this final play of the game, I stop him on this. And then right here, who makes the big play? The rookie that I got right here. Walker, right here. Walker beats his guy, gets inside, and crushes him. The play before, who, who is it? It's me. It's my user. It's Barnes. I make a good play with my user. I cut him. This, this is a play that I think works a lot for him at this time and I just literally got such a good block shot. Ladies and gentlemen, we're 5-0. and um, Great start to the first Express League. 5-0, and could not be happier. We got the Chiefs next week, um, which is definitely not gonna be, I hope I get some like, and I, I don't think I'm gonna see the Saints in the playoffs, which is good because his defense, 1,000 XP for the entire because his defense was insane. So ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you guys next week against the Chiefs. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, boom, bam, week number six. Okay, the guy I just played, that was a huge win. I can't even explain it. He's a, he actually got forced lost his first two games. So if you're wondering why, like he's a much better player and his defense was giving me issues. But that, my friends, is why you take three. Hashtag why you take three. I knew this team all season has been carried by the defense and I knew that, that would, my five freeze here, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, I didn't, I didn't freeze. I got eight. Oh my gosh, okay. Jonathan, okay, Jonathan, I'm waiting for, like, I would love a speed up there with him. He's already fast enough. It's mostly agility, is change of direction, break tackle, perfect. Michael Pittman Jr. Uh, I'm not as concerned with Michael Pittman Jr. Not, not in the type of way where I'm just not concerned. I'm just not as, it's, it's not my number one priority. AJ Moore gets one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure that I upgrade AJ Moore every single time, I'm trying to just keep the hybrid thing in it. Um, plus two awareness, plus one zone coverage. Samson Abukum, Trayvon Walker. Let's I had the biggest play of the game. Had by far the biggest game play of the game. He's got a four thousand bar plus one finesse move. Um, okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's kind of the way it is right now. We're going up against the two and three Kansas City Chiefs. Um, it looks like their offense is ranked pretty low. Uh, I think we have a chance to be six and zero. So let's get the win. On second down, Prescott again. He finds his man complete. Good play. Big. Good job! Jay! Jay! What? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Over a 30. Thank you! Thank you! Good job, Junior. This guy's gonna be so mad. This dude's about to be so mad. Oh, wow. He was trying to do too much. Okay. Good job. Justice. Justice Hill. He, I gotta use him more. Yep, you're gone, Jonathan. You're gone, Jonathan. Oh, wow. That was almost two people. This play, I feel like I might have Paris Campbell. Or that's that's wide open. He, he ran commit. Good job, Everett. Okay. Have to 
Yo, what? Oh, that's John Ross. And how, that's the only way people beat us. The shoe fits here, though. The shoe fits. Good job, Reed. I'm surprised. It, it, it's interesting. It's interesting. We've had two people do that against us now. Like, kind of back to back. We've had two people do that. Oh my gosh, Trey Lance, bro. What are we doing, man? What are we doing? Like. Prescott. <laughs> Good read, bro. Good read. Good read. Block for me. Go more. Go home more. Saved me. That saved me. Can't even lie, dude. Yo, like, is he really making that throw? Is he really making that throw? Okay, one more, guys. One more. Oh. This is a this is a run. Okay. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, I'm gone. I'm gone. Bye bye. Go, Jonathan. Look at the stamina too. Have a season, Jonathan Taylor. Have a freaking season. You know what he's going to, Brett. You know what he's going to. Yeah. That's a book. That's an absolute book, dude. That is an absolute book. Go home, Farley. Good job, Farley. Okay. First down. GG, bro. I cannot believe you went offside. That, that's just, that's a mental error. He potentially, I think he was frustrated that I was even taking the field goal. And maybe he was thinking it was in goal and it would like stop the clock or do something productive. But it did absolutely nothing productive. Ladies and gentlemen, we are 6-0. Got the Packers next week. Let's go see what the Packers are kind of looking like. Uh, this, uh, the Packers, oh, two and three. Like I said, there's a lot of two and three teams. Me and the Panthers are the two top teams right now in the Rams. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of teams that are really, really, really struggling right now. Um, fantasy drafts are tough. It, it, it can kind of be like that. Uh, we'll see what upgrades we get next week. And, yeah, I'm hoping for a breakout. We need a breakout back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Bob Fellas. Weekly Awards, this has got to be Jonathan. Jonathan Taylor. Um, it's actually going to be A.J. Moore Jr. for us. Gets the player of the week. I am shocked at the lack of breakouts we've had. Uh, I'm going to show you guys stat-wise, too, just because I feel like I haven't slowed down and showed that. Um, Trey Lance has a thousand yards. Jonathan has 500. Paris, we've kind of not that we've been slowed down in the in the passing game, but it's it's shorter quarters, so it's tough to get over. But we definitely don't have a we're not having by any means like an insane season. I'm also being really really smart about trying to get wins and not force things. So by doing that, I gotta. I feel like if I click this, I'm gonna freeze. No, I didn't. Let's go. And Asante Samuel Jr. gets an upgrade. I was, say, I was like, I really hope I don't freeze right there. Asante Samuel Jr., he's going to go up, change of direction, plus three-man coverage, um, which is absolutely awesome for him. Okay, heavy rain. Uh, I'm going to click the button just because it's fun. I don't know. I, some, some people don't do this, but I, I find it adds a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go run the ball, dude. Jonathan's so fun to use. Like, people, like, he, once he gets through that first, like, he is gone. He can... He can take just like a small run and make it a touchdown so easily. It's a ton of fun to watch. Um, JJ Watt's been amazing. Montez Sweat, I want to say, is leading the league in sacks at this point. Um, let's go to up. I should have more upgrades. Out. Caleb Farley, let's go. He gets another one. He's already an 82 overall this season. Even though he's been burnt like toast a few times, um, he just keeps getting better in man coverage, which is awesome. Perry Nickerson, he got upgraded to star. Um, he's someone I just need to keep getting better in man as well because he does go through his moments where he can be a plus one acceleration, plus two man coverage, where he, we can, he can get burnt. J.J. Watt. I'm going to go run stopper. J.J. Watt's been amazing. Um, shout out to J.J. Watt this season. I gotta, let's check out his stats real quick. He's been mean. Two and a half, seven TFLs. Like he's been, I feel like I've done this a lot. And if I've been doing that a lot, that, that, that's a good sign. Uh, Brandon Wilson, let me go do his upgrade to hybrid. Uh, that Jammer and Davis guy, the 93 speed dude, I got to do his upgrade as well because um, there's always a chance with these that 
you have like a, at least a 50% chance if you get a speed upgrade. He goes up to 94, which would pretty much make him insane. Uh, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, that's all of our upgrades. I know Montez Sweat is the league leader in sacks as it stands, I'm pretty sure. Game against the Packers, ladies and gentlemen. Let's dance. Good defense. Okay, he's got he's got Derrick Henry, which is a, an issue. But Cooper Cup's his best receiver. Um, I think that's Cooper Cup. Yeah, that's Cooper Cup over there. Um, I think with his quarterback being Teddy, I plan on uh, trying to get some pressure. Great defense, guys. Great defense. Fumble. There's an emphasis there, and they came away with three interceptions in that game. And shutting him off now, open field. Derrick Henry all alone. Touchdown. Get out the gym. Go, Jonathan. Yeah, you're not catching him. Oh, he did. Hey, yeah, that's Troy Apke. <laughs> yeah, go, Taylor. Good job, Taylor. Play action. Now it's Lance. Nope. Go up field. Get up field. Get up field. Get up field. <laughs> It's a laser. That's an absolute laser. Good job. Okay, good stuff, Trey. From the gun on third down, Lance. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let it go deep. Right side left. Okay. Lance to throw for it on fourth down. There it is. Got him. Let's go. Okay, good job, Marquise. Yeah, oh, stop and go. Stop and go. Good job, Jonathan. Okay, that, that was clutch. Yeah, that should be a touchdown if I've ever seen one. Good job, Jonathan. Okay. Defense, one more stop. It's either going to be triple out or it's going to be boot over. Just read, read Cooper Cup. He'll tell you the story. It's boot over. Oh, that's pegged. Really though? Yeah, Perry Nickerson. Have a season, Perry Nickerson. Have a season, my guy. Have a season. Okay, I gotta be smart against him. Um, this guy's actually pretty decent. I'm gonna run the ball a ton here. I'm trying to go undefeated, bro. I'm trying to go undefeated. So you can't really. I'm not about to take any risk because this is this guy's actually got a pretty good defense. He should be activated. This should be a touchdown. This should be a touchdown. Good job. Now that Taylor's activated, guys. I, hey, I'm I'm here to win freaking games. So now that Taylor's activated, this guy, his hundred, his job is. I'm gonna say, you know what? You stop Jonathan Taylor, you get the ball back. If you don't, tough, tough. Because when he's activated, he's a bad dude. He really is. Yep, go Jonathan. Like I said, I'm going to make you stop Jonathan Taylor. If you can't do it, it's going to be a long day for you, bud. Get out the gym. Get out the gym, Jonathan. Get out the gym, Jonathan. What did I say? He's got to stop Taylor, and he, he couldn't. I'm going to keep chewing his clock. Ladies and gentlemen, W. We don't care about stats. This is I didn't draft this team to throw for 500 yards a game. I didn't. I drafted this team to get freaking W's. And that's what John, look at Jonathan Taylor, bro. Look at him. You can't tackle, dude. You, you can try. You can, you can do everything you can, but you're, you cannot tackle this guy right now. He's using his timeouts, which is interesting, because um, he can't really stop end the game. I'm just going to sit down. That should be GG's. GG's, Brody. GG's, Brody. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, still undefeated. That game, Jonathan Taylor. That's all I can say. Jonathan freaking Taylor. 120 yards. Trey Lance did everything he needed. Jonathan Taylor, 19 for one trade. The game day goal was to run the ball. My, I think I executed the game day goal very, very, very nicely. I ran the ball effectively in the heavy rain. Um, I didn't take a lot of risk. Oh, I think I got two weeks off here. I'm pretty sure the Broncos guy is not playing. And then I get a bye week um, the next week. So... I think I'm gonna have a couple weeks off here, um, but it's not really gonna matter to you guys. 
But we're seven and zero. Hopefully, we'll be eight and zero the next time you see me and going into week number ten. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom, bam, fellas, we're back. I had lunch. I had a bye week, and I had a force win. So we are currently eight and zero. This season's going with our strengths of schedule that we've played. I'll be brutally honest. I'm not someone. I'm, I'm self aware. We haven't played a lot of really, really good opponents at the, at this stage. I think that's going to change kind of this, the latter half of the season. This week number ten is going up against a three and five player as well. It's going to change for those kind of final weeks. I know the comp is going to get better. Uh, but at this point, we just got to take it. We're playing really, really well. We're moving the ball super, super effectively on the ground, um, which is annoying people. The frustrating thing is, and like I, like I said, from the moment that we draft this team, I said the, the team is, let's, let's just hope for a speed upgrade. No, shoot. I need, I need a speed upgrade. I'm really, really bad. Marquise Goodwin, let's go. He only gets an upgrade every 28,000, uh, which is not ideal. Awareness, plus one deep route running. Okay. Oh, my controller just died. Go figure. I've been playing Madden for like... 14 hours in a row. No, not not quite. Okay, let me let me let me hope that this works. Um, okay, um, Tony Brown gets an upgrade. This is also another really really good one. I'm gonna upgrade his slot ability. Um, he's played really well. You may not notice him on every play, but you'll just notice that he hasn't got a pick. I don't even think, but he's been around everything. Trey Lance, two upgrades for Trey Lance. Dang. Okay, so the comments always tell me to do improviser, bro. The comments always tell me to do improviser. That it's proven to be the best to do. So I, I'm I'm listening to the comments for the first time ever, and I'm doing improviser. Trey Lance, let's see, plus one break sack, plus three throw under pressure. He's now a 77 overall. He's playing really really well. Dar Nell Savage, let's go, man. What's he? I I really like him as a user. Um, he's made a lot of big tackles. Montez Sweat. I still can't believe. Like, that we haven't got a breakout with him. He's leading the NFL in sacks right now, plus one acceleration. That's going to move his acceleration to 94 acceleration. Caleb Farley has an upgrade. Um, I actually, I, it literally was moving so, so plus one. Hey, I'll take the plus one excel for Caleb Farley. I got no issue with that. Samuel Jr. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Everybody, this is the thing. After a couple of bye weeks, everyone's going to get some upgrades. Acceleration, plus one man coverage. Trayvon Walker, um, he continues. Like I said, he, once he gets to 85, he gets that second ability slot, which is going to be super, super great. Plus one acceleration for him. Um, Eric Reed, Jonathan. Oh my God. This dude's unbelievable. I'm a little annoyed that he hasn't got a speed upgrade yet. That's plus two juke move, but it is what it is. 94 speed, all of his juke moves, spin moves. Every move... He's got like it's he's he's literally insane uh, at everything at this point. AJ Moore is only the other only person that I'm gonna upgrade his hybrid to try and get a superstar upgrade or just to try and get a speed upgrade with him. Let's go. That's why you do it. Plus one speed for AJ Moore. Okay. Oh, there's our upgrades. Like I said, we had a lot because it was a bye week. We are currently undefeated. I I plan on finishing this season undefeated. We gotta take every game super super seriously because you never know when things can get ugly. Um, this is Tampa. The best player for Tampa is Christian McCaffrey. Offensive points per game, not super great. Um, yeah, there's nothing about him that really shocks me. Uh, Jonathan Taylor is the third leading rusher in the league. We don't have really a re leading receiver, but at this point, it is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, week 10 against Tampa. Let's dance. Throwing on first down is Allen. And he'll air this one deep for Anderson. Dang, he got me. He got me. I I I kind of I kind of thought I could keep up with him, but I definitely could not. Good throw, dude. Oh, okay, that was Bunch Trail. Dang, Bunch Trail with a motion. What was interesting about what threw me off about that is the motion like aspect of it. That really threw me off. Okay, we've been so good in the red zone, and no, not this time. Throwing now is Lance. Hunter, Hunter Renfro. Go, Hunter! Man, Eli Apple, slow. Eli Apple, you just let Hunter Renfro get you for 50, bro. Let's go. Good route. He's got great short route running. That's the thing I like about Hunter. His short route running is amazing. He's in cover two here, but we got a great block. Great block. Jonathan Taylor, first down. Good job. Good to go, Trey. Let's go, Trey Lance. Man, oh man, I don't know what to. I gotta scream it up here. Just because I, I do feel like it's the best move. 
Asante Samuel Jr. MVP at the moment of the team. Okay, heads up here, guys. Heads up. No way, man. Come here. Come here. Get up, Darnell. Get up, Darnell. Good defense. Okay, needed that. Especially because we get a ball at half. Needed that. Go, Jonathan Taylor. Go, Jonathan Taylor. There it is. There it is. First down. And now they'll throw with Lance. Being chased out left. Looking for Campbell down. Paris. Bam. Okay. Are you going to call a timeout? Yeah, I figured. I figured you was. I'm confident, though, that Jonathan gets in here. Especially if we go wide side, there's no way he doesn't. Nine, eight, seven, six. Ba-bam! Let's go. And we get ball at half. Super well played. Savage gets us a pick. We use the clock well. Okay, Justice. Justice. Justice Hill. Good. Like I said, I got to give that kid the ball more, man. Lance looking to throw it. Deep ball for Goodwin. Bro, that's a linebacker. In his locker, he keeps the word poise printed on an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. He needs to find that poise right now. He certainly does. In fact, I would say it has a lot of really good routes. Far downfield, just like that. Okay, Farley, make the tackle out of bounds. Okay. Oh shoot. He quick snap. Oh. Weak and takes him out of the running. I'm gonna say 25%, and I feel like I'm being generous with that number. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Off one is gonna go. Yeah, I was gonna say could take it to the house, but the magnitude of this possible upcoming field goal, every yard counts. And they'll get him down about three yards short. Ice kick, my friends. Ice kick. Three seconds to go. This for the win. Felt good. Felt good. Bam! Bam! Let's go, fellas. Still. I'm defeated. Good game to the box. We made mistakes that we can't make. Um, yeah, we had a couple clutch throws with Trey Lance down the stretch, but ugh, I made mistakes that I definitely can't make. He boxed up Jonathan Taylor. Paris Campbell had two huge catches that game to kind of keep us in it. That, that was a clutch win. I needed that win very, 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 very badly. 9-0 um, looks a lot better than 8-1. Uh, we got the Panthers next week. Holy schmoly, man. That was... Blech. That's one I don't even want to talk about. Four interceptions. Um, sacks. Montez Sweat still has seven and a half. I don't understand how we... Have, we really haven't got a single breakout. We haven't got a single breakout game other than Perry Nickerson this entire season, which to me is wild. Is Usually we get quite a few more. Okay, what are the, what's the Panthers situation here? Pan Yo, 9-0 and oh versus 9-1. This is the matchup, fellas. Oh, this is the matchup next week. I, I gotta beat him. I, I have no choice if I want the one seed. If I want any chance at that, I gotta find a way to beat him. How do I buy a breakout? Someone put me in the direction of where I can buy a freaking break. We're 9 0 going up against a 9 1 squad. This is the game, fellas. This is, this is absolutely huge. Um, I'm gonna do my weekly trading and then we're gonna look at his team and kind of look a little bit. Just because it is a bigger game, we're gonna look a little bit deeper at stats and his analytics. More than we usually do. I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit. It is what it is. You can't win them all, man. Hashtag expressly. You gotta love them. Uh, discuss playing a top tier NFL. I'm gonna click this first. I, I hope I don't freeze. Perry Nickerson. Good. He's done a great job. Honestly, stat-wise, everything. He's made some really, really good picks for us. If we get a speed up rhythm, I will freak out. We do not. Trayvon Walker. Let's go, man. He is now officially, I believe, two upgrades away plus one finesse move. You can see his finesse moves, all of his moves. If you watch the game, you will notice him. Joey Sly, our kicker, I'm gonna upgrade his kick power. Usually, these weirdly get awareness every single time. Yeah, it's just, and, and it's a weird thing with kicker adjustments. They're almost always just awareness. Okay, we gotta look at this guy's roster because this is the number one competition for that number one seed. Let's check out the Panthers team here. So, Panthers. Quarterback, Daniel Jones. Okay, his receivers, ooh, that Jalen Waddell and Drake London, they're a problem. I can't really play a lot of man against them. Defense, good, not great. Corners, good, not great. And safety's really good. Strategy against him, similar to everybody. Run the ball, establish the run game, and then throw some, uh, throw some dots on like third and short, those type of situations. 
Guys, this is it. I, I got to push him to 9-2. If I can push him to 9-2, I think there's a really good chance that we end up with the, the number one seed here. But the job's not done. Let's go, fellas. Throwing Jones. Dang, we got to cut. Ah, we got to be better than that. Off play action. Jones. Farley, that's such a... What is going on, Dawson? Okay. Yeah, you went the wrong way, buddy. You went the wrong way. Good. Go, Taylor! Good job, Jonathan. Let's go, Marquise. Good catch. Pierce, he's running. Let's go! Nice job, Pittman. You're in there, Trey. Okay. That was not a good drive. I, as, as much as we got at seven, that was a not the ending, especially that third down is way, way, way too close of a throw. Um, Look at these two teams. These are those kind of litmus test games in the second half of the season. That if you're a coach or a player, you can either really look for to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball. Mm, he quick snaps us. Let's go, Caleb. Give him a block, please. Give him a block. Give him a block. Swerve in. Yo, we love Paris! Man, he's making plays! Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He sets to fire deep. This is caught at the track. Yeah. That's why I let the clock run down. Mm. That was a laser. I actually I wasn't expecting that. For whatever reason, I wasn't looking for boot over. Like working from the gun. Lance. Good, go! Good job, Goodwin. And I would expect pressure here. From the gun on third down, Lance. Let's go! Nice catch. Laser, laser! Again, it'll be Taylor. Taylor! Jonathan! Taylor! Let's go! Okay, two scores, not a lot of time left. I think he might be, I think he had to go somewhere. I think he had, um, uh, it's 2.50, he had a meeting. He had a work lunch. He had a work lunch. They're going out for Thai food. He's getting spring rolls. He, he had a work lunch. I, he had to leave. He's all right though, don't worry. He will be back uh, for the playoffs, but dude had to leave. You, you can't blame him for that. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, bam, bam fellas. Week number, week number 12, that was a huge win. Uh, 10 and 0, still no breakouts all season. We got, we got Montez Sweat playing out of his mind. Caleb Farley playing out of his mind. Yet I cannot, Heidi is losing her mind. Um, and yet I cannot buy a freaking breakout. Um, it is what it is. Um, at this point, I just, I just kind of got to deal with it. There's nothing I can really do. Trey Lance, I think is going to have an upgrade here. But if I click on the other thing, I know it's going to glitch. I'm going to go improvise it for Trey Lance. Try and move that up as much as possible. Awareness, let's go. Plus one break sack, plus one throw. He's been really good for us. Uh, as much as it's been messy, because I, I, I will say it has been. In, in a lot of ways, this has been far from perfect. Um, he's been really, really, really good at points. Um, receivers, Paris Campbell has been our best receiver. Let's go, Paris. And he gets, he's just been making clutch catches all season. Literally, just clutch. Plus one speed. For Paris, 95 speed. I've been waiting for that. Now I got a 95 and a 96 speed receiver. Let's go, man. Let's go. Okay, the Seahawks. Um, I don't know who their QB is. It's Tom Brady. Um, in terms of offensive points per game, he is number 10 offensive yards. His defense is – we got the defensive points per game. We're number one in the league. Defensive rushing yards per game, we're number two. We are dominating every defensive category right now. Number one, number four, and number two. And we're doing really good in the offensive yard. That's why we have no one – even at the top of the stats offensively because our defense is doing all the heavy lifting for us. This is a big game against a team that's had a lot of close games in Seattle going up against Tom Brady. Let's go. That's, uh, that's Chris Godwin. Yeah, he caught me here. I'm not even going to lie. He caught me there. Yeah. Okay, dude. You got a completion. You're five and five. Big. Go! 
No! Come on! Good job, Savage. Dig return. Dig return. Dig return. Yep, Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor. There it is. This should be open because I think I think he's gonna expect it. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Yo, what? No, you guys saw it. Something his row glitched. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? Really drag that Oh my gosh. Okay, make him work here. To throw is Brady. Touchdown, Seahawks. From yesterday's action. Lance now on first down. They'll check this one down to Taylor. It's all right, Taylor. He'll be taken. To throw again on second down. Lance. Yo, he almost got it with Cisco again. He almost got it with Cisco. Now Lance. Everett. Everett! Sit him down, Everett. Sit him down. Good job. Okay, now I definitely got to run at least a couple of these. From the gun, it's Lance. Just said, I know the reason to throw by Trey. The reason I didn't want to just kill that 38 seconds is because I just want to ensure that I score. Yeah, totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level. Make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Oh my gosh, wrong button. Oh my gosh, that was supposed to go Jonathan Taylor. To throw, it's Brady. He finds his man complete. Here's Brady. Let's go! Go home, Walker! If even just for that pick, it was the greatest, he was the greatest selection of my life. Good job. Yo! Trey Lance! Good run, Trey. Get him to go take a step towards Taylor. That's all I need. All I need is a step. All I need is a step. It was freaking Renfro. I thought it was Marquis Goodwin. Guys, this is this is one of those games. I thought I thought it was Marquis Goodwin. I'm not willing. I'm not willing to let him have time and throw like boot over or something. I, I'm just gonna scream. Got him. There it is. Been waiting for that. Go home, Savage. We can't score, bro. We can't score. So, go home, Darnell. Okay, defense. Let's go play again. Yeah. Thank you. Good. Good read, bro. Like I said, what, sometimes, guys, in life, you just got to let someone who will make mistakes make them. You can't get discouraged. You know there are certain people who are clutch, and then there are certain people named key tricks. And those are different people. They're not the same. Because he is folded like a cheap ten. He's played some of the best defense against me. Uh, he's made, well, he actually, I actually wouldn't even say that. He's got a lot of lucky. Uh, well, no, that's a, no, the Renfro one was a good user pick, but <clears throat> like here, I'm not going to throw a pick here. I, I know that I can stop him, so I'm going to be confident and give the ball to my best player. Okay, defense, one more stop. Hmm. On second and ten, Brady. Oh my goodness, Darnell, we almost had him. Okay, he's gonna throw to Pierce and my hook curl, my hook curl should play it. Never mind. Yeah. I, I moved that guy down. Okay. It actually helps me more than you guys might think. Gives me gives me an automatic three. Potentially more if Paris like that you just gave me three points. You didn't make it stressful for me at all. I don't I don't understand that move, but whatever. Oh gosh. Let's go, Jonathan! That's a big time run. And he'll go for it. Lance. And Hunter Renfro keeps us undefeated. Good job, Hunter. GG's, bro. Oh, Hunter Renfro! Clutch, man! Clutch! Whew, that's a stressful game. Oh my gosh. Realistically, that shouldn't have even been as close.
But Hunter Renfro just made a big play. Dude, dude made a big play in a big situation. Oh my gosh. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is a moment of truth. If I'm gonna click breakout player, if we don't get this, we do, uh, pretty quiet get this. So we get another chance. Essentially, I need two picks or under 150 yards passing, which is definitely dual. Let me just double check this. Hi, he's just saying hello. Uh, it's definitely likely that I could hold them to under 150 yards, especially because four minute quarters would be amazing. Trench boost, okay. What, what does this mean? It's, do we got a trench boost? Coach would throw one else at you other time. He's about the offensive line ability. Of course, they don't get the credit for the job up front. Now the sacks against the Cowboys determine the amount of XP. So if we don't get sacked a lot, we are going to get a lot more XP. I'm saving all my staff points to use kind of at the end of the season. Um, okay, this is this is Carson. We've played Carson before. Um, we play him two out of the next three weeks. Um, our final weeks here are really really weird because we literally do Eagles. We go, we go back and forth between like our two. We haven't played a lot of divisional games up until this point. We play all of our divisional games at the end, um, which is definitely interesting. Trey Lance, let's dance, baby. Okay, I'm listening to you guys on the improviser. I'm just not seeing the results yet. I'm not seeing the, a plus one acceleration. Okay, I like that. I like the plus one acceleration. Uh, Michael Pittman Jr., he had a big catch last game. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade physical. Best chance to maybe get a speed boost with him. He hasn't played a ton for us, but... Um, He's been relatively good. Um, Javaris Jav Davis is important to upgrade because if he gets a plus one speed boost, um, he becomes unbelievable. He's 93 speed as it stands. Okay, going up against the Cowboys. We're currently undefeated. Just, I'm, not, I'm not trying to jinx it, but we're undefeated. He's got Scary Terry. Um, his defense's rank is really, really good. Offensive rank, we're both not very good. Both of us have really, really, really good defenses. I kind of want to go see, especially because I'm playing him twice here. Uh, I kind of want to go see what he's got on defense and if I should be scared. Um, okay. He's got Jamal Adams, so he used an early-ish pick for that. Defensive tackle, Chase Winovich. Okay, quarterback, Ryan Tannehill, Zeke. Receivers, Debo, and Terry McCoy. He's got good receivers. Okay, we got to play a lot of zone. Can't play a lot of man against them. Let's go. The face of the quarterback the entire game. Ended up getting four sacks total. Yeah, you got that, Perry Nickerson. Who are you? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Go home, Samuel Jr. Three touchdowns on the season. Three touchdowns on the season. And our red zone defense is just showing up, bro. It's showing up. It's here. It's here. So stop talking. Let's go. Shoot. And we're offside. Throwing again on second and ten. Tannehill, right side. It's the okay, we got we got to watch out for that. I thought that. Hmm. I thought my zone that I had would play that. I really did. They said if he if he wants to go and sweat all the way to the red zone, that's Farley, bro. It's Air Farley. Come on, Carson. Stop testing us, bro. Stop testing us. We have two picks. We have a pick that got a touchdown and a pick that didn't. So like we we're in we're in great shape. I'm just gonna watch that safety on that side. Oh, get mossed! Let's go. Good catch, Marquise. Good catch. We all know what that play is. Oh my gosh. Whoa. See, I don't understand zone sometimes. On play action, Lance. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he stopped using him. I don't know why he stopped using him. Let's go, laser, to Paris Campbell. Nice catch. And pretty much win the game if I get this. He's going to play super conservative here. I'm pretty sure he, he's going to play really conservative. It's a laser. Good throw. Yeah, I'm content with that. You go up 10 points with ball. Um, you, you take that any day. Seven points with ball. There it is. Easy money. Carson, Carson's sending two people every single play. I'm going to dot that up, man. Good job. Jonathan Taylor. Let's go. First down. I think, I think he'll leave Paris Campbell open here. Throwing his lance on third down. 
And I think, just like I thought, I figured he would do that. Good stuff. Good throw, Trey. That, my friends, is what you call an absolute laser. Uh, Jonathan Taylor is activated now, meaning that he has, I can put on trust, meaning he's very, very difficult to tackle. And potentially with a touchdown here, we win here. I'm just going to wait till the last second and flip it. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, he was able to... Um, he was able to see which way. I was going through film study, so he committed the one way, and then at the last second, I flipped the other one. Good game, guys. Good game. I think we got this win. But I, I'm try, I gotta get trying to get something with Darnell Savage. I'm looking uh, really, really quick here for Justice Hill. Sit down. GG's. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not running it up here. I, I don't care to see his offense back on the field. Ah! I, I, didn't get the, I didn't get the breakout with Darnell Savage, um, unfortunately. GG's to my opponent, though. Darnell Savage, breakout game, fail. Uh, as far as trends boost, I don't think I got sacked a single time. Back here without allowing a sack. I think that, that's huge. I think the offensive line. 10,000 for the line. Let's go, man. Shout out to the linemen. Can we get a shout out to the line, especially this Tevin Jenkins? Wow, that's amazing for our linemen. They, they, they've played really, really well all season. Like, I, I, I can honestly say that I'm, this, like our line is one of the things on this team that I'm, like, look, we got two for him. Solomon gets two upgrades from that, which is crazy. Um, he goes up to a 76 overall. This is, hey, these are the guys you don't get talked about. I, I go pass block um, because a lot of these guys run block, block is at least decent. He gets two, like, that was a huge upgrade. Oh, my gosh. I've never seen that. <coughs> Like every single lineman that I have, except for him and him, just got upgrades. That's amazing. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got the Eagles next week. The Eagles are ten and three, uh, the other best team in the division. Um, Carson's now seven and six. This game against the Eagles is going to be huge, huge divisional game. Job's not done. Let's go. We're going undefeated. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is it, man. Ten and three, thirteen. You know, we've currently. I just want to say, let's. Uh, Let's get a couple round of applause. I'm trying to get the round of applause here. Um, we're 13-0, and we have actually officially, four weeks left, clinched the playoffs. So, congratulations. Congratulations to Brett clinching the playoffs. Best defense in the league right now. I want to go look at awards uh, and kind of see. It's not a huge deal. It only really matters in these if you make it to the Super Bowl. But let's just go check out the awards. Uh, Miles San Oh, gosh. This dude could run the air out the ball. He runs the air out the ball. Caleb Farley's having a really good year. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Um, Trey Lance is up there. Najee Harris, best running back. Jonathan Taylor, best receiver. We're up there. Like I said, this, this guy, you guys know I have issues with him. I, I do. I'll 100% own it. He, he gives me a lot of trouble. Um, he's ran for 1,400 yards so far. Um, dude runs the ball, runs the ball, runs the ball, and then gets weird fourth down dots. Um, it's going to be a fight. Let's go do our weekly strategy and upgrades. Um, we play them two out of the next three weeks. So it's important that we lock in here and do everything we can to get a dub. The Rams are also, they, which is Keyshawn, only has one loss. Um, so that is super, super, super important. Now let's see. Let's go upgrades. Trayvon Walker. Let's go. Okay, so he gets his second ability. Super, super exciting. I've been waiting for that with him. Uh, awareness, finesse moves, inside stuff. Okay, uh, we're going to go edge threat with him. Um, Russell Ocon, Caleb Farley gets an upgrade to 85. He's now 96 speed. If we can get another speed upgrade, he'd be 97 speed. And literally the best corner in the entire game. Not really, but the best corner with no abilities. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Guys, our goal here has to be to stop the run. If we can stop the run, we will be successful. I know I can beat him if I can stop the run. Um, week number 15, everybody, let's go. And just banking on somebody. I'm gonna try and see if Renfro can win a double move. No, he can though. Paris Campbell can beat man, good stuff. First down. Yo, good deep. oh, thank you, good job. I meant to say good blocks. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. See if we can catch that. Yeah, we got him. I never do this. Laser, let's go. How many times this year? Second down, back to Sanders. 
Okay, that doesn't work. Yeah, thank you. Darnell, though. Oh, that was box, dude. Oh, my gosh. That was great defense, too. Darnell Savage got over there. Everything in that situation worked out exactly how I wanted it to. Just couldn't get the pick. Dang it. And his kick is right in the door. Uh, I've got just a thing for you. It's the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by Orlando. He'll be alongside and have to take us through the weekend in the NFL. Trey Lance! Looking for Campbell here. And now they'll throw with Lance. Yeah, we, uh, give me a block, please. Give me a blocker. And now yes. Of course, that would be the one pass that Cameron does right there. That would be, that would be his one pass, a bubble screen. Here's Watson. On the move to his left. And he'll be out of bounds. Watson, a little touch pass on the jet sweep. Oh, he gets free left side. And he's... On first down, Lance. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Campbell. Now Lance. Dancing to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep Let's go! Trey Lance! What a throw, Trey! To bring some life to your sideline. Second down, back to Sanders. And some space. He'll, he'll run it every play. And honestly, unless you commit to it completely, he'll, he'll run it every single play. To throw is Watson. Steps away. And now yep. this would go deep. Back over the middle. Man, it's caught at the six yard line. On play action. Lance. There we go. Out left, he's got it. Heads up. Heads up, though, my friend. Heads up, heads up. On first go right there. Good it's job, Jonathan Taylor. Good run, my friends. On second and seven. Lance. Just don't fumble, just don't fumble, just don't fumble. There we go. First down. Look at Hunter Renfro, dude. MVP. MVP! How does he beat guys like that? It's because he's got great route running. Good route, Hunter. Here's Watson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's caught inside the 30. I want to say, dude, he's playing for, he's playing for OT at this point. I want to say. They'll roll him out right. It's complete to Brown, right side. I'm not shocked if he runs the ball here. Brett, that's bad user, man. I, I, I deserve it. I deserve it. I deserve to lose. That's bad user. I could, that could have been a pick six. Dang, GG, dude. First and ten, Taylor now. Jeez, dang, man. Oh, I cannot believe that. I, bl I blame the fumble. This play right here, I take a step towards him to try and lurk it. And as I'm trying to lurk it, I'm just too slow. And he throws it. Dang him, dude. GG's. Undefeated no more. Cam it's always Cameron. It's always Cameron just gives me such freaking trouble. Um... We got to beat him the next time we play him. Got to find a way to beat him the next time we play him. That's super, super, super important. I have no voice at the moment, guys. Um, we got three weeks left next week. Um, we got three weeks left in the season. We got the Cowboys, um, the Eagles, and I think the Giants, which I believe will be a force win. So we got Cowboys. If we beat both of them, we got a chance to get the one seed still. But I think with that loss, Keyshawn might take the number one seed. I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard to say at this point because of the fact that he's 12-1. and 1. I don't know about division. Has he won every division of the game? He's 4-0 in his division. Um, yeah, he's undefeated in his division. He's going to go undefeated in his division. So I think almost no matter what, he will get the one seed. Let, let's check out his schedule real quick, um, which means we're going to have to fight, fellas. That means we're going to have to fight a little bit. The Rams schedule here. He plays Stu. He could lose to Stu. And he could lose to Matt. He's got, oh, he's got three tough games. 
I'm not, I'm don't we're not we're not dead yet. He he could definitely lose to one of these guys. Okay. There, there's a chance. There, there, I'm saying right now, there, there definitely is a chance. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are week 16. Hashtag night game. I just had wings. Since you guys see, I had like 20 wings and pretzel bites. I'm really, really happy. Hashtag pretzel bites. Voice is slowly coming. I've been drinking a lot of tea. Lots of chamomile tea. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going up against the Cowboys. Okay, great thing happened. Shout out to your boy Stu. As I imagined, your boy Stu beat um, Keyshawn, meaning that we currently, if, if it actually ended today, we're the only team with one loss in the NFC. Now we have a lot of work to do. So Carson, the guy I'm supposed to be playing right about now, um, the eight and six Cowboys, uh, he can't play tomorrow uh, or tonight. So he got one of his friends because I didn't want it to be a huge waste of time for him. And there is a cash prize. I was like, if one of your friends wants to join in, uh, he can play for you. So that could either be a famous last words or it can be a good thing if he plays it all like Carson. No, just get Carson's good, but He's getting one of his friends to play for him. Um, so that's who we're gonna be going up against in this game. So this actually isn't Carson, it's someone playing for him. Um, huh, Aiden's, let's see if we have a Darnell Savage. Sucks I didn't get the breakout with him, but that would have been almost too good to be true. If I got that breakout with him, oh, acceleration. This dude's the best safety, like 95 speed. Like he's he's literally insane. 92 excel, he's crazy. Montez Sweat gets an upgrade to speed rusher. Shock and honest, but if I got a breakout with Montez, I'd probably miss it because I've seemingly missed every single breakout this season. Uh, Brandon Wilson, Jonathan Taylor. So Jonathan Taylor, I'm going to go power back. I'm going to go power back all the way to 99. Um, just to like, as, as these stats go up, he's just going to become that much more insane. Like as his trucking stats, all that stuff go up, the dude's going to become that much more unstoppable awareness um, for Brandon Wilson. And then Jordan Whitehead, who doesn't really play, gets an upgrade. Okay, so this game is huge. Uh, I don't want to go to the Eagles with two losses already because that Eagles game is going to be really, really, really tough. So this, this is a big game in general. Um, we got to lock in, do our thing, and get a W. They'll fake it. Now Tannehill. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. Okay. This is taken in. It's good. To the air again, Tannehill. Go, let's go, Darnell. Go home, my friend. Go home, my friend. I guess this guy laughed with Carson a few too many times. Good stuff. Sent it. Got a little bit of pressure on him. Savage gets another pick six. If only I could have had that a few games ago. 7-0. Let's go. Decent field position and throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guys. Yo. Good. Oh. Mm, I was about to say good play, JJ. Okay, it's good that we have that first pick because I actually don't feel like this guy's offense is bad whatsoever. Look at Trey Lance, dude. Look at Trey. Go, Paris. Come on, Paris Campbell. What a season. What a season. Maybe going to Jonathan Taylor just because of, honestly, just because of how good Jonathan Taylor is. Easy touchdown. Okay, defense. I, I don't know. I might run some dollar. DB Fire 2 is kind of where my brain goes. They snap it to Tannehill. Did you see like what darn what I did to his wow. His primary target was that in route, and we completely took that away. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. Taking a shot for Samuel. And this is caught. Out of the gun, Tannehill. Savage, good play, but I'm almost certain if, if I just even stand in this gap, he's going to throw here. No. Hunter Renfro, when, when the world needed him most, man, he shows up. Go, go, Jonathan! First down. I'm honestly just gonna throw this up to Marquis Goodwin. There goes a deep ball in zone. He got it. Let's go, Marquis! Oh my gosh, Goodwin! Perry Nickerson, end it, buddy. Oh my gosh. Like, what is this? Debo, like, what are you trying to... Back to throw, Tannehill. There 
Perfect. Let's go. Good job, JJ. Here's Tannehill. Perfect. Oh my gosh, we're screaming at him now. Good defense. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to block someone up, buddy. You're gonna have to block someone up. Oh, that was perfectly executed right there. He was blocking nobody, so I just sent enough people where I could get in his face. Um, now we get a chance with the ball back. In a pretty good situation to seal this. Marquise. Heads up. Just don't fumble. Don't fumble. That's going to take us to the two minute. Yeah, at this point, we're one throw away from ending this. And I think Trey Lance, let's dance, just got it. Laser GG's, bro. Good job, Trey. Okay, that should be a good game. Victory formation. Bam, fellas. Good game. Good game to V Ross. V Ross OTF. Um, yeah, he actually played really, really well. Um, that was a stressful one from the jump. I needed it too. I want that one seed. We had too good of a start of the season to just totally fold this. Um, with a loss. That was honestly probably Trey Lance's best game in terms of that. He threw for 242 and a touchdown. Um, Jonathan Taylor had a good game. Marquis Goodwin had a couple really big plays. Hunter Renfro had a huge catch. His offense was electric. Absolutely electric. That, that deep post out of that play is so tough to stop. The blitz did it, like gave it some trouble, but... Overall, that puts us at 14 and 1. We got to play the Eagles again. I don't want to play the Eagles. Ask me if I want to play the Eagles. I don't want to play the Eagles, but we got to play the Eagles again. Um, and this time, it's hopefully going to be a different result. So I'll see you guys in the morning for the Eagles game. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, bam, fellas. New morning. Top of the morning to you all. Oh, okay. Top of the morning to you. I'm trying to think of what YouTuber that was. Okay, we're 14 and 1 going up against Philadelphia, and this is huge. Um, with this win, we would clinch the number one seed in the first round by. Um, and yeah, essentially take it from the Los Angeles Rams. Now, difficult thing about this game is this guy, dude, just if you look back, he's never really like, not to say, and I'm not, this is more of a comment to him. He's never really won anything major in any of these leagues, but he gives me trouble. Um, his offense, uh, it's kind of like, you know how they say sometimes like, you're, you are your, like he, he runs a similar offense to me in some ways. And it gives me trouble. So I can't even hate his offense because it's very, very, very similar to mine. Uh, plus one man coverage for Asante. Sam Paris Campbell gets an upgrade. Let's go. He's going to get plus one deep threat. Um, in a lot of ways, he runs a lot of similar plus one acceleration for Paris Campbell. Uh, he runs a lot of the same concepts. Now, it's just, it, it's difficult to stop is all I'm going to say. I, I think if I get, the goal needs to be to just commit everything I have to stopping his run game. I, I think that's gotta be the number one thing. I might even put Trayvon Walker on the outside and put like no outsiders on him. Plus one acceleration for Caleb Farley. Let's go, that's amazing. Trey Lance gets another upgrade. I'm gonna go improviser again. Um, he never got like a huge breakout this season. Um, I was hoping that that potentially may happen. I don't know if anyone in the league, just because like, the quarters are so, so short, were able to trigger that like absolute X factor breakout game that you sometimes get plus one acceleration for Perry Nickerson. But uh, the main adjustment I'm going to be making in this game is as follows. Um, I am going to put no outsiders on a couple of guys. So if you no outsiders ability just allows you to like kind of just keep no one outside of you. So it's like, I think it's a first ability. Let me see. No outsiders. So I'm going to put no outsiders on him. And then uh, is there any... Other one swim club. Defender to third and short at least half their maximum pass from the bay. Ignore one bar of resistance. Uh, kind of free pass. I'll, I'll do edge threat. Uh, I'm cool with edge. So no outsiders should help Trayvon Walker. Um, like just keep him on the outside. I'm going to play him as kind of my 3-3-5 three, three, wide outside linebacker. Now, J.J. Watt's another one. I have a decision to make with J.J. Watt. Do I want to do the same with him? I think I'm going to. So, oh, I'm gonna, uh, I can put no outsiders on him. And then on his second slot, uh, run stopper. I need to spend a pass during a run play. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put both these guys on the like kind of the outsides and just see if we can completely neutralize that run. That's kind of my only game plan. We'll see if it pans out. Uh, let's do it. Here I'm hoping he blitzes. Yeah, that's easy yards. Go for a run, Jonathan. Good stuff. And the, you see this? I don't know if you guys saw the stiff arm at the end of that. That was. So they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. 
He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. Pittman! Let's go, Michael! Yep, make a play. Oh my gosh. That, that needed to be a loss of about four. It's such an annoying run, dude. It's the most annoying run in the world. Here's Watson. Escaping the pressure right. That is caught. It's out of the gun. Watson being chased out left. That's good defense. Okay, I think I think we forced the three. I think we forced the three. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play. I'm not certain. Let's go. Good defense, guys. Okay. Last game, we did this exact same thing. Um, but in this situation, uh, I ended up fumbling and giving him all the momentum back. I don't plan on doing that here. I plan on getting seven and stealing the momentum of this entire game. There we go. Go, Jonathan! Go! Oh, ah, shoot! Too late, buddy. Let's go! Good job, Everett. I knew his user was a little slow right there. How much time did I leave him? 17 seconds. Okay, great first half. Now a first down throw. Watson. Forced out to his left. Come here. Get over here! Let's go! Matthew Ionitis. Okay, I, guys, this is for the one seed. We're going on a conservative. This is for the one seed. Let's uh, let's let's play this really really smart. Good hit. I don't know who got I don't know who got that hit. That was freaking unbelievable. Yeah. Good job, Jonathan. I think I'm better to just like rather than juke to just cut with Jonathan. Today. That's something that I'm, I'm kind of learning here. Where are you going, Cameron? Cameron, where are you going? Oh. Yeah, he's out. He stepped out. He stepped out. We'll, 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 we'll take four down, please. Rough, what? Yeah, no, sir. Walker, what an effort. No freebies here, bro. No freebies. Where are you going, boss? Where are you going? You tell me. You tell me, ladies and gentlemen, that should have just wrapped up the number one seed for us. That's, I'm pretty sure we have a force win next week. I think we just got the number one seed. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Everett, yeah. First down. Okay, that's another team. It's GG's, man. GG's. <laughs> ba bam fellas! One seed, baby! Let's go. I needed that. I need that win against him very, very, very badly. GG's, Cameron. GG's, my friend. Um, we uh, our, our red zone defense stepped up in, in a ton of, at a ton of different times. Our red zone defense was the reason that we won that game. We got a force win against the Giants. I don't believe the Giants have been playing. Um, so I guess we will see. I'll, I'll probably touch base with you guys in the first round of the playoffs. But, uh, yeah. Oof. Away... Home, yada, yada, yada. Okay, I guess I'll, I'll touch base with you, like I said, um, and we'll see what happens here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, bam, bam, fellas, the playoff bracket. Uh, I'm just going to update you guys here. This game didn't save. T-Hammer won. Uh, on this side, the Rams beat the Cowboys. Um, the Vikings beat the Eagles. Um, and then the Panthers beat the Bucks. So I am going to be playing against the one seed. Like I said, the two and the three are playing, and I am playing against the Panthers, who is a tough out, bro. He, and they, they just simmed, literally, as we speak. Uh, he's a tough out. He's 11-6. and six. What this guy did was, his strategy was, as soon as he made the playoffs, um, he just stopped playing. He just took fo fair, fo fair losses. He didn't really do it on purpose. He was just super, super tired. So I know his record doesn't really indicate his skill. And if you watched our first game, he's a pretty solid player. Um, his offense moved pretty good. We had, we had some really, really big plays in that game um, defensively. But I know the dude can play a little bit of football. So... Javaris Davis, let's go, 94 speed, that, that's good to see. Um, but yeah, we got a lot to talk about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through his entire depth chart, go through everything uh, that we kinda gotta look for. Caleb Farley gets an upgrade, um, which is freaking amazing awareness, plus two man coverage. Trayvon Walker 
gets an upgrade as well to his speed rusher. Um, the way he played, like he liked Dollar. I need to run more um, out of my my kind of like passing set. I think that would be one thing that if I were to get, tell myself like, oh, this this would be a really really beneficial thing thing for me, uh, would be to kind of run more out of those situations. Um, because he liked to run a lot of, who else do I gotta upgrade here before we kinda do a deep dive into his entire team, his lineup, everything. Cause I do remember he has Daniel Jones, but he's got a pretty solid team that's plus one trucking for Jonathan Taylor. Okay, that's pretty much all the upgrades that I wanna do. So, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and it's time for the deep dive into this guy's roster. Now, he is 11 and six, obviously as it stands. Um, I wanna show you a few things here. Um, just on his roster because I think you always want to look before Daniel Jones is QB his receivers He's got Jalen Waddle 99 speed. He's got one really really fast receiver and one really good receiver So he's tough to play man against Waddle needs to be watched Every single play. This is what makes his offense so insane. This was his first overall pick Jalen Waddle had an absolutely insane season for him pretty sure he had like yeah 1300 yards Dude was crazy. Uh, his second target is obviously Drake London. I don't think Drake got it quite as many, uh, 922. But as far as his third target, this is where it's interesting. It's not a, It's not pretty. 590. He doesn't throw to Harris very much. Just kind of on broken plays. His tight end Dawson Knox, who's 88 speed, is a problem. I, I don't know if he drafted him or if he was just there. But 644 yards for Dawson Knox. Uh, Armstead. I, I think he's got one of. He had two superstar linemen. Defensive line, eh, it's, it's not, it's not going to jump out and punch you in the face, but uh, his cornerback, he's got Sauce Gardner. Um, I think Goodwin can run by these guys, almost all of them. And then obviously safety's got Derwin Davis. I would say he has one of the better teams for someone who didn't get that like super, super early um, QB pick. Um, his team is super, 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 super Solid. Now, strategy for us. A couple things I gotta change. I wanna make sure that I put inside stuff back on Trayvon Walker. I, I, I had taken th that off of JJ Watt and uh, that, that didn't help me. It helped me against the Eagles, but the Eagles out now. So he ended up losing uh, to your boy Stu. So I don't really need that anymore. Um, let's go over one more here to abilities. And let's go edge threats. Uh, JJ Watt doesn't really, Ah, oh, this is where it's tough. I'm trying to figure out the best ability here. I'm gonna go double or nothing. So let, let's go JJ Watt. He can go double or nothing. Um, Trayvon Walker at safety. Um, ah, part of me wants no outsiders, but then I also think inside stuff is super, super valuable uh, and edge threat. So that's what I'm gonna go with for Trayvon Walker. Other than that, we don't have a ton of abilities to kind of choose from at the moment. So. Ladies and gentlemen, it's put up or shut up. We also, right now, before we get into this game, I gotta spend some staff points. Sorry, you guys are gonna get to see me a little bit before the playoff games. This is a, this is a playoffs, dude. This is put up or shut up. Now, um, boost impact blocking. This is what I wanted to do. So we're gonna boost some stuff. Run block, offensive lineman, like all this kind of stuff. Uh, this is, there's no point in waste holding anymore. Like this is, we had 135 staff points. Um, we might as well spend it on uh, on all these guys getting kind of their their stuff figured out. Uh, boost carrying, stamina, release. I don't hate that either. I'm gonna go pretty decently heavy on some of these offensive ones. I think I got 63 left. Catching for wide receivers by one. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna raise that again. I think that's super important. Catching for halfbacks and fullbacks by five. Um, here, hit power for defensive tackles, play recognition for corners. I gotta move that up a little bit. Um, pursuit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we did our practice. We're ready. It's playoff time. Bill Legman, we got a home playoff game in Washington against the Panthers. Ladies and gentlemen, let's dance. He's playing those safeties pretty far back. I'm actually gonna go strong side, which I never do. I'm gonna go strong side. Good job, JT. Now to throw. Let's go! Go! Come on, Marquise! Good. Good play. Good play. Good play. Trey Lance steps up into the pocket beautifully. Let's go! Everett, get up! Get up, Everett! Oh, shoot. I don't really believe his user is that good. Has Taylor got it or no? 
comes up short. No, he doesn't. Land's going to sneak it. So call. They'll run. <laughs> Oh my gosh, man. That could have saved us. That, that, that could have helped. That could have helped get us back. Shoot! Score, Hunter. Thank you, Hunter. Ba-bam! Let's go. To throw on second and ten. Jones swings this out here for Cohen. And a five. It's that. You can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. Mm. What a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a shot. And he will take it across. Okay, at least I, I got a little bit of time to tie it. I don't know why. Here's Lance to throw it. Nice laser. A rookie quarterback under center making his first ever postseason appearance. Any concern level there? Why would think the ability to help carry him along as well? This will be swung out wide for Tim. Throwing his lance on third down. Nice catch, Paris. Nice catch. I guess I guess we bank on our defense making a play. I don't know. I think I think at this point I gotta at least I need I'm gonna need three to win anyways, so Ah shoot. Good hit. It's a good play. Go, Paris. Good job, Paris. Into the first row. From the gun on third down, Lance. Got his man complete. Good job, Paris. Thank you, Paris. Lance looking to throw it. He's gonna let this go for the end zone. Let's go! Laser! At this juncture of the playoffs, but with the lead and the football, the clock right now, their friend is a and got his man complete! Oh my gosh. He just snapped that. Okay, he's got to take three here, right? Oh, we got a chance, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be down eight. We're going to be down eight. Nice throw. Good throw, Trey. I'm going to see if this works. He said, I, I think there's a chance I get, like I said, I, I don't feel like out of this defense. He can do much against Jonathan, but I very well, I, I could definitely be wrong in that. You're in there, Trey. Give me the ball, fellas. Give me the ball. Now a first throw here in overtime. He'll dump this off to Taylor complete. And they get him down the nut. On play action. Lance. Deep ball for Goodwin. And this is Don't let the door hit you on the way out, okay? Don't let the door hit you on the way. Let me, can I can I open the door for you, Panthers? Can I open the door for you? Can I kindly open the door for you? Just don't I, I don't want it to hit you on the way out. 
Bye bye. See you next time. See you next time. That's why you play four quarters. Oh my gosh, we back, fellas. Oh, let's go. We're going to that. Wow, that is, is that game of the year? Is that game, I think it might be. I was waiting for this, dude. I'm sitting in this offense just waiting for him to press his corners up. As soon as I see that Marquis Goodwin, I'm like, easy freaking money. That's adversity. We go our first freaking drive. We make it all the way to the end zone and we end up with nothing. That was completely like here. This play right here, Jonathan Taylor. I thought right here, I'm like, dude's gonna get in. Ends up getting pushed back in a super, super, super rough, sad way. Close to a touchdown, not quite. Oh my gosh, GG's in that chat. Yo, 356 for Trey Lance, three touchdowns. Jonathan Taylor, Paris Campbell went crazy good. Hey, I got a little, oh, I got cheated at the start and then Madden helped me and then we just locked in through Dodds. That red zone play, let's, let's just look at that red zone play. That was freaking unbelievable. This two point convert, I was boxed. I had nobody. Um, he did a really good job. I maybe would have had the tight end, so I'm like, I gotta roll out. I playmaker him. I playmaker Marquise Goodwin. He catches it and goes into the end zone. Literally the clutches game ever. We get ball on OT. Boom, bam, fellas, moving on. Okay, I don't know who we're playing. I have no sweet clue. It's either gonna be Stu or, uh, or Keyshawn. It's gonna be one of those two. Um, Oh gosh, I, my brain's about to explode. Um, okay, uh, 15 and two, obviously, which is freaking amazing. Um, who's, who won this on this side? T Hammer beat T Sap, 24. So it's T Hammer, uh, Luke, oh my gosh. T Hammer, Luke, me, and potentially Keyshawn, I, I, I'm not 100. There, there could be a force win set for that. You guys are gonna see me. I'm, it's actually gonna. There's gonna be a little bit of a gap between this force win for the Rams. Yeah, Sue quit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're moving to the NFC Championship. I'm gonna see you guys there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that game was insane. First of all, that game. I just like let's just mentally process what just happened. That was probably one of the most insane playoff comebacks ever. That guy is mad. He, he's he told me after the game. He says he's joining my division in every single league he's ever in, he's following me, and his goal is to ensure I am never, I never win anything again in my life. Um, so that's gonna be a good little rivalry between me and that, I couldn't stop him, I can't even lie, I could, I could not stop him save my life. Okay, going up against Keyshawn, you guys know Keyshawn is the guy who, um, three straight Super Bowls in the Seahawks franchise, uh, two of which, we went to OT and he ended up getting the ball first uh, and beat me. He is very, very well known on the channel. Um, he has the Rams. Let's go check out his team. I, we haven't played him this year. I was the number one seed. He was the number two seed. So the things in, on this side have gone kind of how they expected. Oh my gosh. Okay, he had a lot of nice. He's got Captain Kirk. He plays Kaepernick. Uh, okay. Joe Moneyman Mixon. Dang. Okay. Whoa. Okay, three super. He must have got Judy to a superstar. He's got three superstar receivers all with. Wow. Okay, you don't play man against them. Yeah. If I play man, I'm just stupid. Route technician, but I might have to. Travis Kelsey, tight end, 86 speed, 89 acceleration. He's also got a superstar tight end. I don't know where he drafted all His defense is not, eh, but it's not said it's bad. His corners are eh, but it's not said that they're bad. Tyson Campbell's had a crazy year for him. I think he's had like five or five or six picks in the playoffs. Uh, his user is 94. JT, this dude's team. Keyshawn, good job. Hey, he dropped. I got a guy like, I'll come. He did, he did a good job drafting. I'll, I'll give credit where it's due. Um, the dude did a really, really, really good job drafting. Essentially, guys, my game plan against him, we got to go in here um, and we got to be able to run the ball. We got to get stopped. We got to get way more stops than we have in the past. And we got to stop Joe Mixon. If we go kind of look at his team, we're one game from the ball right now. So I'm trying to stick calm, but I'm like, well, this is also a pretty stressful game. Uh, 38 touchdowns. He throws picks from time to time. 1,500 yards with Joe Money Man Mixon. He ran the ball this season, like a lot. Um, I'm trying to think how to stop that. I know he runs a ton out of that one set um, that I'm, I know I'm gonna have to commit to stop the run out of. DK, Amari Cooper, um, 
yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's kind of where it stands. Time to go lock up, try and get some stops, and uh, beat Keyshawn. So let's go. The former second round pick, this is Joe Mixon. Good play. That, that's, a, that's a run that he loves. They're going for it. It's Kaepernick. Yo, play it, bro. Oh, my gosh. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he gets the that run is so toxic. Bang. Let's go! We're screaming! What? What is that illegal contact play? Illegal contact? Good job, Jonathan. Good job, Jonathan. I'm not mad at that. To throw, it's Lance. Good job, Paris. Nice catch, my guy. Nice catch. Now the Georgia Southern man. This is Good job, McKinnon. Hey, give him more carries. Working from the gun, Lance. Good job, Hunter. Good job, Renfro. From the gun on third down, Lance. Click the wrong button. Shoot. If he gets three, he gets three. I'm not I'm not overly worried about it. Working from the gun, it's Kaepernick. Forced out to his Bang, good defense, guys. Two seconds. Now Keyshawn gets to decide what he does. Okay. Hey, slight win. Considering he got to the one yard line, we stopped him twice. He tried uh, killing clock on us. The most funny thing about Keyshawn is sometimes he's just like so painfully unaware of how he plays. So he just DM the chat and he's like, killing clock, loser. And then dude does the same thing. That's such a dot. That's such a dot. Go Paris. It's all right. Come on, Paris. It's all right. Let's go, Laser. Good throw, Trey. There goes the clock, man. This dude's the most ironic player in the world. Oh my gosh, why did I leave him? Oh my gosh, Brett. Run with him, Brett, you freaking idiot. There we go, Jonathan. That's all right. Good catch, Taylor. Good catch. From the gun, it's Lance sliding out of the pocket. And he slides and covered. He's back to throw. That's to the former Ram, Gerald Everett. Back to throw. They'll roll him out right. Open man, that's Renfro. And they do get him down. He'll look to throw. Nice catch. Nice catch, Paris. Nice catch, Paris. Ah, oh, if there was 10 seconds, I wouldn't do this. But he still he still could potentially get a field goal, which would mean... You got odds-wise, percentage-wise, and I'm, I'm telling you guys this because it's legit. When you go and actually calculate the odds, because he has 18 seconds and one timeout, he's got a chance to get a field goal. If I go for that and I don't get it and he gets a field goal, he wins. If I go for it and he gets it, he gets a field goal, he wins. Either way, a field goal wins. But I could also lose the game right there. So I could, I, I, you're left with a choice. Lose the game right at that spot. Oh my gosh, okay. Kaepernick to throw. 
Okay, that's out of bounds. Out of bounds, out of bounds, out of bounds, out of bounds. As they start this big drive. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. Okay. Oh, second straight playoff OT game. Let's go, man. Let's go. We got 50-50 chance to get the ball. If not, we just got to stop him. We got to stop Keyshawn, bro. We got to stop him. If there's anyone who could get this, it would be him. Okay, let's go. Oh, OT, fellas. OT. He almost mossed us. He was very, very, very close to mossing us. Okay, come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled? Keyshawn always wins, bro. He always wins. Yep, he always wins. Around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get the field goal. GG's, bro. Oh my gosh. Check this out. Check this out. Oh my gosh. Watch this. Watch this. Are you freaking kidding me? They picked each other! Oh my. I'm wondering, like, what on earth? Dude set a pick on his own guy. Dang, man. Hey, I had fun. Honestly. In life, it is what it is. I can honestly say I'm not too mad, but we battled hard. We battled a lot. Um, I'm so confused by um, the play that confused me the most, the two, the penalty. I, I want to go back and watch that again to see where the penalty was. Someone go back. Everyone, if you're watching, go. I'm genuinely so confused where the penalty was. In that situation, that to me was completely bizarre. But overall, guys, we had a good season. Um, maybe we'll make the bowl next. I had a lot of fun doing it. Full season franchise is back. Back to back OT games. You can't ask for much better content than that. But um, yeah. Anyways, guys, GGs. Uh, oh gosh. Okay, we're gonna see you. Ten thousand likes for another one. We gotta get a redraft. Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're doing a huge favor and subscribe right now. Also, I have a second channel where I post NHL, MLB, NBA content. Link is down below. Go check that out. That would mean the world to me. Road to 200K on that channel. Thank you guys once again. My Instagram is at BrettBQB. My Twitter is TBarrettYT. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching.